Okay guys, so like a lot of women, I wear makeup most days, but especially on the days where I have to film for work. So it got me thinking while I'm getting my makeup done, what exactly am I putting on my face and how safe is it? I decided to do a bit of research. It turns out that the average American woman uses 12 products every day, exposing herself to about 126 unique chemicals. Many women use even more than that. And a lot of those chemicals are considered toxic. They've been linked to cancer, infertility, birth defects. They can even mess with your hormones. But the industry is largely unregulated by the FDA, which cannot require cosmetics companies to prove a product is safe before it goes to market. It also can't recall a product once it's found to be dangerous for consumers. It's up to the company to do that. So why are these products even allowed to be sold to us? There are over 10,000 chemicals used to formulate cosmetics and personal care products. And these are industrial chemicals that we're talking about. I mean, the same chemicals that are used to grease gears or sterilize surgical equipment or stabilize plastics are used in your everyday makeup and personal care products. Janet told me that while the European Union has banned more than 1,300 dangerous chemicals from their cosmetics and personal care products, the U.S. has only banned 11. You know, oftentimes people opt for the more expensive lines like Chanel or Kevin Aquan over drugstore options, thinking perhaps maybe they're, they're better and mm -hmm. by virtue of being better, maybe safer. Is that necessarily the case? No, no. I mean, it, it really isn't. And it's so counterintuitive in that regard. Just because you're buying a more expensive product, it doesn't mean that it's safer. Look for labels um, that, that have fewer ingredients. Stay away from the word fragrance in a product. That simple word fragrance can hide dozens and dozens of unsafe toxic chemicals. Janet also told me about a handful of other chemicals I should be wary of. Foundation can contain heavy metals like arsenic and titanium dioxide, which can cause cancer when it's inhaled. Eyeshadow can contain formaldehyde and mineral oils that are derived from crude oil. Eyeliner can contain heavy metals like lead and arsenic that are linked to cancer and reproductive harm. Blush can contain parabens that mess with your hormones and talc, which can have asbestos. Mascara can contain formaldehyde and dyes like carbon black that also cause cancer. And up to three-fourths of lipstick tests tested by the FDA contain lead. Many also contain preservatives like BHA, which is linked to cancer and reproductive harm. And that's only makeup. Harmful chemicals can be found in all sorts of body products like lotions and shampoos too. It's a lot to take in. Thankfully, consumers can search for the health ratings of tons of products on databases like Skin Deep, Think Dirty, and GoodGuide.com. But unless we demand more regulation of the cosmetics industry, choosing safe and healthy products may continue to be a guessing game. 